This is a pair of Type 1, Class 1, Extreme Cold Vapor Barrier Boots, more commonly known as the Mickey Mouse boot. It is the older black sheep cousin of the more popular white Type 2 bunny boots. The Type 1s were developed during the Korean War for expeditions in seriously cold weather. They're made out of oil and diesel resistant black rubber inside and out with several layers of felted wool sandwiched between the rubber. This construction makes the boot heavy, weighing 44 ounces, or 2.75 pounds per foot. They are also completely waterproof and have a temperature rating of negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The only way the insulation can get wet is if there are gaping holes or cracks in the rubber, or if moisture gets through the pressure release valve. The class ones include a pressure release valve, which would be loosened while on an aircraft with an unpressurized cabin. Without opening this valve, the enclosed felt insulation would burst. If you're not flying an unpressurized airplane, don't loosen the valve. You will also find class 2 Mickey boots, which do not have a valve. They only come in full sizes, but have five different widths. Extra narrow, narrow, regular, wide, and extra wide. They tend to run a half to a full size large. I typically wear an eight and a half, and the eight regular fits me well. Several companies, including Acton, Airboss, and Beta, manufactured Mickey and Bunny boots. As far as my research shows, Beta made the best ones. I believe Beta stopped producing them sometime in the 90s, so it's becoming increasingly difficult to find them cheap and in good condition. The white Type 2s are an even more heavy-duty boot, which was designed for harsher winter conditions. They crammed more felt into them, making them 8 ounces heavier per boot, and they're rated to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Both Mickey and Bunny boots were of course used in the military, but today, they're still commonly used for winter hunting, camping, ice fishing, and snowmobiling. The Mickey and Bunny boots manufactured by Beta were also used on the runway in Raph Simmons and Sterling Ruby's Fall Winter 2014 collection show, making the boots more popular in the fashion community. Raph Simmons even made his own rendition of the boot with Adidas, called the Bunny Bounce. I bought this pair brand new on eBay for $100 shipped. I typically see prices ranging from $60 to $200. The white Type 2s go for much more money and are very hard to find in good condition. My pair was manufactured December 15, 1982 and came with what looks like the original instruction manual. Feel free to pause the video and read it or skip to 3 minutes and 51 seconds. I've only worn these one day. I've noticed two things. One, they're very large. They're comparable to, but maybe larger than, the Sorel Caribous. Here's a comparison with some other shoes so you get an idea of their scale. Here they are next to some Nike Waffle Racers. Here they are next to some Jordan 13s. And here they are next to some Asilo Drifters. Two. Even though I was wearing some long underwear while wearing them, the tops of the shoes were rubbing up against my skin in a way I knew would get uncomfortable after a little bit. In order to fix this problem, I've heard people suggest folding the top of your sock over the top of the boot. I haven't tried that. In case you're curious how they'll look on feet, I'll show you them with my pants over them.
with my pants cuffed. And with my pants tucked into them. While I haven't had the proper time to put these boots through their paces, I imagine they'll serve me well in the cold Vermont winters.